Today we're going to take a look at a sequence of movements from the end of Wang Su. Most people do see this movement, however, as a throw. Generally, when they're looking at this movement and the spin, they're looking at it as a katakuruma, or shoulder wheel throw, uh, also known as a fireman's carry. But today we're going to look at it from the perspective of a little bit of a different throw. So when most people look at this uh, technique in the kata, they're looking at it from the perspective of striking low, striking high, and then picking up their opponent onto their shoulders. That works out very well uh, for a lot of people. However, there are other ways to look at this throw. It's generally assumed that it is a shoulder throw. That's what it's been described as. But if we look at uh, Itaman Morinobu's book that was translated by Mario McKenna, we can see that in old school Okinawan Pei, uh, they called shoulder throws uh, a few different things. And so we're going to look at this as a shoulder throw from that perspective, instead of the more modern judo and wrestling. For this type of a technique, they need to be driving into you. It doesn't necessarily matter what they're attacking with. They can be grabbing and pushing into you, for example. Or they can be throwing punches. And all that we really need to do is get in close. I'm still going to strike into the throat. I can strike into the side of the chin. I can strike into the groin. But what I'm going to end up doing is hooking behind the head and pulling it down. While I'm doing that, I'm actually going to hook this leg up as I pull. If he's in a strong stance, I won't be able to lift that leg. But what I'm doing by pulling his head is actually getting him off balance before I do this. As I pull, his weight is going to come forward, so this leg will be easier for me to lift. Now, I can throw him over without too much difficulty. So again, as they're coming in here, I'm going to actually twist in. And this works especially well off of the push because I can actually deflect both of these hands as I twist in. And you'll notice I can actually attack his legs with my stance. So again, if he's pushing and I clear this out this way, I can strike into the neck, strike into the groin, and as I pull forward, scoop this leg, step through, and I can throw him down.